Oh, hi. Hey, why do they have a sign saying road works when the road doesn't work? You know, I think they're making a new road. But how do they do that? How do you make a road? Hmm? First you need to know where it goes. The cement rocks and then we just move them in. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> Heaps of crap on what's hassy and I got. They make sure that um, they, don't, they don't get the um, stones sticking up because the tyres will pop. Hey, some good ideas there. But you know what, with all the roadworks going on, I've decided to swap my car for the trusty Pedalmobile. Which has got me thinking. The earliest roads were just tracks. Tracks that became more marked out and people used them. So if I keep going back and forth here, I'll end up with a road. Trouble is, I'm also ending up more and more the mud, which is a very sticky problem. About 150 years ago, the main road north of Invercargill looked a bit like this. A narrow line of mud. In the days before cars, oxen used to pull carts up and down it and often get stuck in the mud. And there was never much room to pass. So if you had a cart coming one way and a cart coming the other way, the drivers would get out and have a fight to see which one would stay on the track. You know, I think it would be better if there was a proper road. So I've got some land here, and I'm going to go from point A to point B, but look what's in between. The first thing we need to do is think about where the road is going to go. And something that we need to consider is that if the road is too steep, Cars and trucks have a lot of trouble getting up. Boy, and down again. So these hills here are going to be a real problem. Now, we've got two options. We can go round and round and round all these hills, or we can cut straight through them. If we wanted to get straight from A to B, then we could just go in a straight line cutting through all the hills in between but that would be a lot of work moving all that sand or dirt. Or we could avoid the hills completely and go wiggly, wiggly, wiggly all the way around. But because this road's much longer, it's going to take much longer to get from A to B. I said it was going to take much longer to get from A to B. See what I mean? Have a look at this. It's what I've decided and it works really well. Now, I haven't gone from point A to point B in a completely straight line. But what I've done is I've sort of smoothed out some of the rough areas. I've shaved off some of the mountainous bits here. I've gone around this great big steep hill and I've had to cut away at this one here. So it doesn't take that long to get from point A to point B, but it didn't take that much work either. And you know, I guess that's what roading engineers, or people that build roads, have to think about all the time. Okay, car, do your thing. Hmm, now that's exactly what we don't want. We need a road that's gonna be strong enough to support the car so it goes scooting along the top, not be all squashy and squishy so that the car gets stuck in it. Hey, what happens on a road like this? when there's wind. Well, here's some wind I prepared earlier. No, not wind like that. Wind like this. Hmm. The car is gonna get really, really dirty. And what happens to a road like this on a day when it rains? Well, here's some rain I prepared earlier. Hmm, a road that's made out of sand or dirt is just going to become muckier and boggier when it rains. You know, I think we're going to need a better road. And maybe we could make all our roads out of plastic track like this. The only thing is, I don't think it comes in big enough pieces. Okay, we need something better than sand or dirt to build our road with. We need something that's not going to turn to dust when it's hot and windy, and something that's going to turn into mud when it rains. We need something solid. 
Yeah, something as solid as a rock. Whoa, ow. Uh, <laughs> of course, we need something solid like rock or lots of rock. We're starting out with a solid foundation of tiny bits of rock. Tiny, tiny bits. Hey, check this out. Rock and roll. <gasps> <clears throat> right. Okay, this is looking pretty good, but it's still a bit lumpy and bumpy. So I think we're gonna need some smaller bits of rock to go with it. Hey, well done. Very good, this is looking much better. But I'm pretty sure with real roadworks, I've seen them use a huge roller that's really, really heavy and that it packs everything down. Well, we don't have a huge heavy roller here, but we do have me. So, music, Mr. Music. Thing I've seen them do to a road. They put that black sticky stuff on the top. It's called sealing. <laughs> no, not that kind of sealing. There we go, all ready for sealing. And when you're sealing something, you're making sure that water and dust and things like that can't get in or out. And if you've ever been close to a road when they're sealing it, you know that the stuff is really sticky and really smelly. Well, this stuff doesn't pong, but it should do the job nicely. Okay, stand back for sealing. like icing a cake. Well, now we just need to wait for it to dry. Hey, check it out. The icing is dry and the road is complete. And look. The perfect road for our car to drive on. Nice and firm. Watch what happens when there's wind. Nothing, there's no dust. And look, when it rains. No mud. Hey, it's perfect. Just like a real one. Now here's a couple of things that you couldn't see on our sand road. You know how when you're on a bike going fast around a corner, you lean in? Well, a car goes much faster around corners, and the clever clogs who design roads know that. Look closely, and you'll see that the whole road leans into the corner. That makes it easier and safer for the car going round it. And two, See how the road is higher in the middle than at the edges? Well, that's so rainwater doesn't sit around on top, but drains away into these gutters. The drier the road, the safer it is for cars. So a road has to be strong enough to carry cars and trucks, and it's got to be able to keep the rainwater out and the dust in. Hey, next time you're in a car going down a country road, have a look at that road. Would you have built it there? Why is it where it is? If you'd like information about this program, or if you have questions you'd like answered, you can write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland, or head to the website, www.susie.co.nz. Hey, well, I better get going. I've got a very special occasion to attend. <clears throat> I now declare this road open. I'll see you next time. Happy day. This program was brought to you by New Zealand on Air.